Hey family, we are glad to be with you once again. Thank you for joining us. And we want to, before we continue our journey, looking at what love is not from the book of 1 Corinthians 13, we want to just take the opportunity to continue to invite you to come out and be with us at the church building as well in person yes. as we meet up every third Saturday at 10 a.m. So Lord House family, come on out and be with us. So um, as we continue to look at this and uh, looking at what love is not, mm -hmm. right? And looking at these qualities, we, we begin to observe that these qualities themselves are things that are in the area of self-centeredness, right? right? And, you know, when those things start to, to show up in our marriages and in our relationship, they can be tough, you know? Um, and we want to give you a soft way to kind of begin to address those things when you see they come up. So as you're going to hear, we're going to continue to look in and unpeel this thing, but we want you to take this little quick helper to help you get with this from the minister Andy Minio. <laughs> the minister Andy Minio, he has this song. He said, here's what we're not going to do. <laughs> so so when you see this start to rise up in your marriage or in your relationship, you know, soften it up and say, like, here's what we're not going to do. And just sing it out, right? Yeah. But we're going to give you some more meat than that, okay? That's mm -hmm. just the way so you can start to dress it and deal with it, okay? But here's what we're not going to do. We're going to talk about boasting and being arrogant right from first right. corinthians 13. right what about that all right so basically the one thing that we've noticed as we were kind of studying all this is that a lot of this actually plays out in in times of conflict mm, right right um which actually kind of connects really closely with what we were talking about today just in our marriage ministry um workshop mm -hmm. but i'm going to break down both boasting and um, what uh being proud right arrogance and mm -hmm. um we're just going to talk about what those are and and give you guys some uh, little background examples okay. so uh, boasting. So the definition is to praise, to brag on oneself, right? So it's proper for us to do that when we're boasting in Christ, we're mm. boasting in God, mm -hmm. right? Right. It is so. proper for us to do that when we are boasting in other individuals, right? Because that is an encouragement to the body. Mm -hmm. um, it is improper when we are boasting in ourselves. Yeah. It's one of the things that Paul talked about a lot in the war, in the word, you know, he was like, I, you know, I, you know, have gone through a lot of different things and I have the right to boast, but I won't. Right. right? He says, if I'm right. going to boast in anything, I'm going to boast in my weaknesses right. and I'm going to boast in Christ, right? Because Christ is strong and he is the one that we should be giving all the praise and all the glory to. Right. But we tend to do a lot more of that. We want to do it for ourselves, right? How does that look in marriage? So in marriage. And, How can and, it look? So, so I'm going to give an example of myself, right? So I... Uh oh you talking about yourself? I, I know, I'm going to talk about myself, uh -oh. right? Because okay. I can I can only give the best examples of what, I, of what I've done. So, now, so you don't get mad if I ate men, right? So anyway... <laughs> So I am a very type A personality. I want to get things done. I have a long list of things that I do. Um, and I do those things. I, I, I like to stay busy. So it's all funny because I always sit down sometimes and I'm like, I want to just keep back and relax or whatever. And then I find myself going, I need to do something. I need to do something. I need to do something right. Mm -hmm. So I will clean the dishes. I'll, I, you know, I'll cook. I'll make sure I clean the house or whatever. And so if I'll go out and get the groceries or whatever, I'll pick up all the supplies, yes, yes. all those things. Right. Yes, yes. And then at the end of the day, you know, I'm just kind of sitting there going, you know, I'm like, I'm like this phenomenal woman, right? Because I did all of this, 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 this. And, you know, and I'm just kind of going down my list of things that I've done. And he just kind of looks at me like he's unimpressed. And I'm like, really? <laughs> so I just did all the X, Y, Z. And you're like, I mean, he just kind of gives me the, mm. so, but the funny thing is, is as we started talking about this topic, the one thing that I recognized when we were like, okay, so I was like, that's that's kind of me sometimes mm -hmm. that I do tend to go, oh, I did this, 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 and this. And the thing is, is if, if you're going to do all those things, that's not a problem. It's if you're going to do all mm -hmm. those things, you're going to do them in love, right, not right. just to use them to hold over your spouse's head to say, this is what I did. Well, what'd you do? You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Right. So, but, for, but to re, re uh, state and be fair to you, this tends to come up in the area of conflict. conflict. Yes, okay. absolutely. Okay. Yes, okay. absolutely. Right. So, so, that's that's boasting. Yeah. Now being proud. Proud. Okay. Proud is possessing a high or unreasonable conceit of one's um own excellence, either of body or mind. Mm. It's arrogant. Mm. Right. So man, so if you know, 
I think when you even hear that definition, you feel like as a Christian or just a person, you you like, man, that, I, there's no way I associate that kind of character with mm-hmm. myself, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. But, you know, we got to be careful because, you know, he's talking to the people, the church. Right. So obviously it's something we have to be careful of. Right. right? And it can come to bear itself. Right. Uh, like we said, in that area of, Conflict. Of conflict. Right. So what way can that happen? What way can that happen within our marriages? I think one example that that can come forth in is if we find ourselves in, uh, we find ourselves soul sufficient, Mm -hmm. you know, that we forget to submit one right. another we need mm-hmm. to learn to submit to one another mm-hmm. where we can you know use that help that's what mm-hmm. our help our spouses are there for right to mm-hmm. be a help to us right now i would tell you that on another side of that thing is it could be potentially that when you're in that area of conflict right. where that pride can come in that pride can come in to bite us is if we find ourselves so much in the realm of right mm-hmm. that we think we can do no wrong right you know we find it hard to see ourselves at fault mm-hmm. we find it hard to see our part in the issue mm-hmm. and pride keeps us from mm-hmm. seeing that and mm-hmm. that's what happens mm-hmm. you know so we have to be careful not just in the marriages but you know especially in the marriage that's what we're talking to you you, you guys are our people mm-hmm. we want you to be aware be careful with that but even in your relationship mm-hmm. you know being so, I mean, I ain't doing that wrong. Mm-hmm. Now she she's shaking her head and she kind of got a smile and she looking at me because she probably like, yeah, that's that's you. You you kind of feel like you probably always on your word and and you well, abiding by your counsel and teaching. No. So not even that, but the <laughs> one thing that kind of came to me as we were talking about that or whatever and stuff is also so prideful that you don't ask for forgiveness. For forgiveness, Ooh, right? That's you a don't good one. ask for forgiveness yeah. from the other person because you don't yeah. feel like you need forgiveness because. I haven't done anything wrong. What do I need to be forgiven for? But the other end of that is to be the one who doesn't forgive. Mm -hmm. So now, okay, you were wrong and I can stand in my, I can boast in my, I can be okay with my wrongness or whatever. And I'm just going to stand there in that or whatever. And I'm not going to ask you because that's, that's what that was. Right. Yeah. That's good. So either one of those, either way that that goes or whatever, the one thing that we recognize is that we've been forgiven by Christ. And so we have to forgive. Right. Right. So these things can come in and out of conflict, but definitely in the, in the arena of conflict. So, you know how we do this. We don't want to just highlight the problem. We're talking about it from the word. The word is telling us that some things to be careful of, mm-hmm. but now the word is going to give us a solution because do we know we need to apply some things to our marriages and to our relationships? Right. So what verse did God lead you to? You can talk to? So he led me to first Peter, the fifth chapter, the fifth through the sixth verse. And I'm going to be reading this in the ESV. Let's read that. So it says, likewise, you who are younger, be subject to the elders. Clothe yourselves, all of you, with humility toward one another. For God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that at the proper time, he may exalt you. So now, I mean, that pretty much just runs the gamut, right? (laughs) It covered it all. Humility is the key. Mm -hmm. It is the absence of arrogance and boasting. It's characterized by submission to Christ. And we don't have to sit there and try to puff ourselves up. He is going to exalt us at the proper time. Mm. We just have to submit ourselves Mm -hmm. to him. Wow. That verse right there just covered it all and hit it all on the head. And I think the one thing that I want to highlight, two things I want to highlight in there as well. Right. adding on to what you already highlighted, it said that he opposes the proud. Mm-hmm. We, now, obviously, that existing within your relationship and marriage is a bad thing because it creates opposition with you guys already, as we kind of talked about. Right. But God opposes that. Mm-hmm. So if that what is existing in you, he opposes that. Mm-hmm. We don't want God to be mm-hmm. against us. Right. But let's look at the positive side of that. Okay, we're in a relationship, we're in marriage. One of us may be in God, both of us may be. But we just haven't worked it out, this thing. Right. This thing has to be worked out. Mm -hmm. Just like we talked about earlier today, conflict has to happen and seek the good in it. Right. Which is you're working out some things. You don't get to practice these qualities that we need, this submission. Right. This Mm -hmm. grace. So that's the other piece I want to highlight. He said he gives grace. That's great. That's powerful. Guess what? 
if he's giving grace unto you between you and him, now you can give you grace because he's else. giving you grace. That's right. And so that leads me to my little segue verse in Second Corinthians 3 and 5, when it says, not that we are sufficient in ourselves to claim anything is coming from us, but our sufficiency is from God. He gives the grace. Yeah. He makes us humble. The situations are created so we can be humble and work this thing out. Mm -hmm. So there's a good in it if we see the good right. and if we submit to the good. Right. It's a good father as he works it all out, right? That's good. Amen. Amen. So we bless God for that revelation. Yeah. We bless God for that goodness. And we do. We will oppose boasting and being arrogant or proud mm -hmm. in our marriages, in our relationships. So we hope that blesses you. We yeah. hope that lifts you up. And sets you on the right path to having healthy, godly marriages. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. We're so going to pray, pray out. Okay. Let's pray out. Father God, we just thank you, Lord God. We thank you for opening up our eyes, Lord God, to recognize that we should not boast or brag in ourselves, Lord God, that we shouldn't be puffed up, Lord God, or be arrogant, but Lord, that we should always be humble, Lord God. You said that we are to submit ourselves to one another in reverence unto you, Lord God, and that we should always be submitted unto you. So we bless you right now, Lord God, for this word. We ask that it ministers to our hearts, our minds, and our spirits, Lord God, and that it blesses each marriage that it comes in contact with this video, Lord God. Let them recognize what their situation is, Lord God, and turn, Lord God, so that they can continue to be blessed. We thank you. We praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 So, family, we thank you for checking in and checking up to go beyond, beyond Mary. Mary.